Hello powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. When a planet is designated as a grand experiment for polarity integration, it presents a thrilling opportunity for all. This celestial body serves as a haven where individuals can overcome their differences without the burden of past conflicts. Remarkably, a veil of amnesia shrouds those who reside there. Countless beings from different worlds have flocked to Earth for this precise purpose. They bring with them a glimmer of hope for their people, the last chance to save their worlds from destruction. These illustrious souls are recognized as starseeds and walk-ins, dexterous entities who bestow their expertise to unravel the mysteries of this extraordinary plane. Their mission, to seek a solution to the puzzles that plague their minds. This is why we hail you as the saviors of the cosmos. Let us delve deeper into the descriptions of starseeds, walk-ins, and light workers. Star seeds or star travelers are the creme de la creme of advanced souls, whose first incarnation was not on planet Earth. By accessing their Akashic record, we can determine the exact location of their debut incarnation and how it molded their energy and essence. However, place of origin is not a primary concern for some entities. For the majority, experience and expertise were gained through multiple lifetimes in earthly and extraterrestrial realms. Moreover, not everyone on Earth originates from Earth. Indeed, some arrive from planets and civilizations scattered throughout the universe. Despite embracing human form, their true identity may differ from the human species. Interestingly, their affinity for animals mirrors their true form, for instance, the Namos, beings from a planet in the Sirius star system, identify with dolphins. Numerous indicators suggest starseed identity, an overwhelming sense of solitude, an alienation from their Earth family, an unwavering fascination with stars and a feeling of home being elsewhere, though unable to recall just where. From a young age, they question the ways of Earth. The black sheep of their families, they are drawn to metaphysics in search of answers for their deep sense of loneliness and disconnection. And yet, despite their immense potential, many star seeds struggle with the material world. It is not for lack of skill or creativity, but because they are constantly targeted on all levels. These powerful galactic beings have been sent to Earth to help awaken humanity and facilitate a rise to higher planes of consciousness. Their enemies in the fourth dimension, the elite and extraterrestrial, will use anyone and anything to ensure that they do not succeed. Family, friends, and loved ones are all fair game in this war on souls. Some star seeds find that life on Earth is simply too much to bear, and choose to leave. Others struggle to fit in and manifest abundance, particularly those with more advanced souls. Why is this? Past life experience plays a significant role. Star seed souls carry a painful baggage of lifetimes filled with darkness, poverty, abuse, and power struggles. They have experienced the worst of humanity both as the abused and the abuser, and it has left deep scars on their souls. It is no wonder that they fear power, seeking only to play it safe and never hurt others, or be hurt and betrayed themselves. This fear of power is ingrained in their very being, lying outside of conscious awareness and hindering their ability to manifest abundance. But even in the face of such adversity, star seeds persist, unwavering in their mission to elevate humanity and rise above the limitations of this world. Fear of power is one of the biggest obstacles to abundance. No amount of positive thinking or affirmations can overcome it until it is dealt with head-on. This crippling fear manifests itself in various ways, ranging from dwelling in the parents' basement to addictions to criminal activities. The lack of grounding is another hurdle that advanced souls often face. These souls tend to focus on spiritual exploration and the invisible world, while neglecting the practical aspects of life on Earth, such as making money and living a stable life. However, it is essential to recognize that such individuals could contribute significantly to society by channeling their resources into healing, transformation, and sustainable land usage if they had access to more resources. There are common misconceptions about abundance and spirituality. Abundance is not merely about having material possessions or thriving relationships. Many wealthy people struggle significantly in their personal lives. Despite having everything that most people desire, unhappiness can still creep in. In my own experience, I had everything I thought I wanted, a fancy apartment in one of the most expensive cities in the world, a family, a stable job that paid the bills, and the freedom to travel the world. 
And yet, I was unhappy. So let us reassess what true abundance entails and what it genuinely means to live a fulfilled life. I would have relinquished everything without a second thought if something better had come along. The definition of better was indistinct to me, was it fame, money, power, or something else? But none of these accomplishments really mattered. Abundance is not solely measured by material achievements. Being poor or wretched does not equate to spirituality, nor does affluence connote sin. The definition of true abundance varies for different advanced souls, and many must free themselves from societal conditioning and erroneous beliefs to attain it. Regarding soul age, I have found that younger, less advanced souls have an easier time manifesting abundance. Due to their heightened interest in the physical world and the absence of past life obstructions, these souls can live in abundance without hindrances. However, advanced souls who have past life karmic debts and self-sabotaging tendencies due to traumas need to identify and release their soul-level vows of poverty to activate a prosperous reality. Moreover, some very advanced souls choose to incarnate into harsh familial and environmental templates, including war, strife, loss, adversity, and lovelessness. As a result, it is excruciatingly strenuous for these souls to meditate and experience stillness due to the extreme trauma they have suffered. In conclusion, abundance is a highly individualized concept that takes different forms for each soul. Those striving towards it must cast aside societal programming and erroneous beliefs while releasing inner vows of poverty and healing past life traumas. Advanced souls must navigate their way through difficult familial and environmental templates to attain spiritual peace and prosperity. The aim of aligning with the anguish of humanity is to transmute it, but many star seed souls find themselves ensnared in the process. Family and ancestral traumas, such as abuse and material loss, are frequently passed down through generations. These profound wounds tend to cling, making it arduous to create space for newfound light and happiness. Conventional therapies and the oversimplification of the law of attraction often prove insufficient and leave advanced starseed souls feeling like failures. But fear not. By addressing blockages at the soul level, a more transformative and efficient route can be taken. Starseeds were never meant to lead a humdrum existence, but they possess the strength to enrich both their own lives and those of others. Visualizations and prayer can be more effective than meditative practices, and soul work is the key to transforming deep-rooted issues. It's time to acknowledge these issues at the soul level and start the work there. Remember, the 3D life will ultimately fall into place once the soul is tended to. So, be bold, embrace the journey and allow the transformation to commence. I hope this video was helpful to you, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life. Thank you.